In this short video, I'm gonna quickly explain to you how to open the case with Amazon seller support in the right way, step by step, correctly. Because when you're an Amazon seller and you're selling your products on Amazon, so during that journey, you might have to face many issues regularly or weekly. Like sometimes your product title is not displaying, your product images are not displaying, or your inventory is checked into Amazon FBA warehouse, but it is not available to sell, or there might be some discrepancies in the quantity. So these kind of small issues you can actually face regularly and to solve all of those issues i am having more than 200 free videos in my amazon playlist on youtube so you can just go there watch those video and solve your problem so more likely your 80 percent problem can be solved by watching those videos but it happens sometime that some of the problem got stuck and without the help of seller support you cannot solve those problems with the amazon user interface so in that case at the end you have to contact amazon seller support but i have seen that most of the people also don't know like how to contact the seller support in a correct way so they can actually answer you properly and solve your matter quickly so in this video let's see how we can do this and how we can actually get our problem resolved by amazon seller support so as you can see that this is my one week sales and if i put the filter for past one year and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales you can see that throughout the year i got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in december which was christmas season so around 150k was the revenue and a cool thing about this is that the ppc spend was very less for the lifetime so basically i don't do any magic i only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which i've already explained you in these videos so if you also want to learn all of those tips tricks and strategies you can just go on my amazon playlist on youtube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this all right guys so as you can see here i'm on my laptop right now and from there i have logged into the seller central so if you want to open the case so from the seller central on the top right corner we need to find out this help button and then click on it so after clicking on that help button you will be able to see this get help page so here you can find three options number one is go to case log so if you click on this button you will be able to see the list of the old cases which you have opened in past and then if you go down you can see your marketplace you can see your services like selling on amazon like what you're doing here and then if you go further down you can see that there are some issues already listed here which are the common issues and people usually face those issues so basically if your issue is one of them then you don't need to open the case you only have to check that issue fill that form and click on submit so they will forward your case to the right person and they can actually help you in resolving that error so if we read there the basic issues are inventory lost in fb warehouse listing not active fix a product detail page fb reimbursement and so on but for example if your issue is not listed there so then in that case what you will do so you have to go down and click on this button which says my issue is not listed so when you click on that then it will ask you to describe your issue into the text form so for example if your issue is my amazon product listing item type keyword is not correct so after writing that issue you can just type your issue more specific like you can just put your product name or asin in there so it will be easy for them to navigate right so after typing your issue you have to click on continue and then it will show you some further recommendation so if you can find any of the recommendation correct you can just check that otherwise you can just click on my issue is not listed so when you click on that it will ask you for some other question like what is your issue related to it is it related to accounts fba or product listing so let's say product listing so after clicking on that it will take me to the next step here i have to select the language which is english and then i have to write the short description of my error like my item type keyword is not correct right so after typing here i have to go further down and then if i want them to call me directly so i can talk to them and explain my issue so you have to type your number here select your country and then check on this mark which is this issue is urgent and requires immediate action and then after filling your phone number you have to click call me now so if there is a daytime in that state so they will call you otherwise if you click on this email and type your email and your phone number and just click on this issue is urgent and then if you're having some proof of your information like in a screenshot form so you can just take the picture of that and just click on add attachment and upload that photo here so it will be easy for them to understand your issue correctly and they can solve that issue quickly so after typing your email phone number and your case images you need to click on this send button so as soon as you click on the send button the case will be open and the new case id will be generated on your amazon account so from that help page on the case log button you will be able to see your case listed here 
and within 24 hours, any of the person from Amazon support will contact you regarding your issue. Either they can solve your issue or they will ask for some more information so you can actually give them and get your issue resolved. So if your problem are still unsolved by watching my videos and you think that you have to contact Amazon support, so by following this method which I have explained you in this video, you can actually contact them and get your issue resolved. So that's it for today guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well, so you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video, till then take care, bye.